Let's start this party right now. Let's start this party right now. What the hell just happened? Oh my gosh. Ladies and gentlemen, Bachelor finale. How many shockers did we just see? This was incredible. Hey guys, Dave Neal here, stand-up comic, host of Bachelor Nation News. I am not saying anything negative about Jen because I have nothing negative to say about her. They just dropped the bag so badly (laughs) by not having Maria as the next Bachelorette. I wish, I wish... (laughs) They could have two worlds where they have Maria and they have Jen just to show how much better of a season I believe Maria's would be based on entertainment value and everything I have to go off of. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. Oh, and then she bombed. Oh no. She bombed when, I mean, that announcement. And guys, I'm pro Jen. I want her to do so good. No one's got more incentive than to hype Jen up than I do. But in this moment, I am so bummed out that they didn't choose Maria. What the heck were they thinking? She's going to go straight to House of Villains or Traitors. She's going to get scooped up so dang fast by another reality show if she wants to. Hey, Sabine with a $15 super chat. Let's see what Sabine had to say here. Said, um, great finale full of love. Great proposal. I will watch with Jen. I just loved Maria so much. Maybe they have other plans for her. Thanks for the live stream. Well, I'm assuming we're not going to have Bachelor, um, Bachelor in Paradise this year. And because of that... Oh, sorry. That's the wrong Bachelorette. Um... Which one was it? I guess, hold on. It doesn't matter. Uh, I didn't want to spoil it for people, so I was guessing that it was going to be Daisy, but I have it blurred out. All right, folks. Hit the... Uh, let, let me just turn this uh, up a little oh, a little too much here. Uh, we'll, we'll go to some of the comments people are making online. This is not an anti-Gen thing whatsoever. Uh, not whatsoever. I don't know much about Gen as far as what we saw on screen this year. Um... By all means, I believe the show is going to put together their best choice given whatever circumstances they have for the lead. Maybe Jen's going to just shock us all. Again, nothing bad to say about Jen. Maria was a a once-in-a-lifetime reality TV star. She's an it girl, and if you cast The Bachelorette a hundred different times given different casts that are out there, you probably cast her 95% of the time. You truly do. JB said they can't control Maria. I disagree. Gina said Maria ruined it for herself for being too mean to fellow contestants. I disagree. Um... Sarah said, as a fellow Asian, I love it for us. Yeah, and look, hey, I mean, I'm not even... You know, I'm not trying to make it like... it's It's good for representation... Um, uh, but, but by all means, let me get some tabs up here, folks. Um, obviously, you know, it's of no surprise who I've been rooting for. I've been a pro Maria account pretty much since episode one. And again, it's not, you know, you can be pro one person and not anti the other. And I think that's what it has to come down to, uh, is be pro one person and not anti the other. And I mean, here we have, uh, accounts uh, RIP to the bachelorette we could have had. Yeah, she would have been kooky. She would have been goofy, weird. Um, now, are we going to pretend like Jen's more ready for love than Maria? Not as far as I know, you know, whatever. I don't know. Um, uh, what else do we have here? The way this truly was the most shocking thing they could have shown. Yeah, I mean, it was really great to see Daisy and Kelsey. Hey, honey, the dog's trying to get out. Dog's over there. Um... 
Alex said the producers really tricked us because we know they made those pro Maria signs that audience members held during women tell all, uh, Sarah said, I wonder why it wasn't Daisy. Well, I don't know why the dog wanted to leave. Uh, the dog, the dog's getting sick with of my voice. My wife and I, we were shocked. It wasn't Maria. I mean, look, you know, I, I know there's a greater picture than just, um, how each season's ratings do. Um, B Bean said, Dave, Maria took the L, get with the program. No, I think I'm going to complain about it for the rest of this episode, actually. Thank you. Um, Bruce said, no one knows what happened behind the scenes. Yeah. And no, it could have been that Maria didn't want it, but I don't think that's the case at all. I think Maria petitioned pretty hard for it. Um, Ginger said, I'm not too happy. I wanted Maria. Um Jehan says, I woke up my mom and aunt who was staying overnight. Yeah, this was a very Paul Revere moment. Um, Looneycorn said, when is the last time this happened where people were really into one person and the producers chose another? It's a good question, you know, when Katie Thurston... Uh, well, a lot of times it's leaked beforehand. So, like, with Katie Thurston, they knew she was Bachelorette beforehand. Um, Rachel and Gabby, I think it was, like, one versus the other. They both got it. Um, in this case... You heard on the woman tell all the audience was adamant they wanted. I was actually for a second thing, and maybe they're gonna go with Rachel. Uh, when Jesse, you know, I was texting Reality Steve back and forth, and when Jesse said, "Will Daisy be the next Bachelorette?" and they brought Daisy out, I was like, "There's no way it's her." At this point, the fact that they didn't hard launch her in that moment, I was like, "It's no way it's her." Um, let's see what else we have going on here. Um, let's go to. Um, I don't know why. We don't have Bachelor trending right now. Let's go to Bachelor. Uh, da, da, da. Uh, bachelor here. Yeah, it's just absolutely wild. Miss um, Danielle says, I just can't get excited about a college student looking for a husband. Uh, Jen Bachelorette age. Yeah, how old is she? Uh, Jen, a 25-year-old. Uh, all right, so she's 25. Let's see Maria. I mean, 25 is young by all means. Maria's 29. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. They really, they really dropped the ball on Maria here. Jen, a 25. Uh, well, let, let's learn more about Jen. Um, or maybe tomorrow we'll do that. We'll do a deep dive. Um, all good things. Um, <clears throat> let me mourn. Crafty Beach said Maria must have said no. I don't think so. I don't think Maria was saying no. All leading up to this, she was like saying how much it would not, of an honor it would be. Um, Lane says all the hate online might have made some women want to rethink it. Um, Maria would have been iconic. Uh, we don't know that Daisy turned it down. She just said she didn't want to do it. So we don't know if she was properly asked. Morgan said let Jen surprise us. Well, here's the thing. Sure. Yes, yes, for me and you, for the, maybe uh, maybe there's 75% of audiences that are going to want to watch the show no matter what, uh, or maybe it's only 50%, I'm not really sure, but to get the people that are on the fence about a season, some people take a season off, some people don't, what's going to happen with Jen? She might introduce a whole new audience, she might introduce a whole new fan base, but also we might have lost a lot. Yet to be seen. Yet to be seen. Um, Shu Wen says, Maria is a star. They really miss big time. Yeah, I think that's what it comes down to is Maria being a star. You know, <clears throat> no offense to Jen, she bombed. And I was watching that. We overuse the term cringeworthy. Um, but she was like, I want a guy with a really, really big personality. Bomb. As a comedian vicariously that hurt that she didn't get a laugh. Uh, I, I could give credit all day long. Well, you know, it's nerve wracking. All that. I get it. I get it. I'm just saying my visceral reaction, which is what I have to give here is, am I flipping a shit, losing my mind? How dare they? No, I am just so shocked. This is like, if you're watching who wants to be a millionaire and it's the million dollar question. And it's like, what is H2O? And someone says, well, it can't be water. And you're going, it's water. It's water. Pick water. And so obviously that's the choice. And someone's going, um, helium? And you're like, no. Botched.
botched. Hayden said, I'm not going to lie. Maria really wanted to be the bachelor and you could tell she was definitely mad. Yeah. I mean, I think she knew going into it though. They had her mic'd up. So I had covered this and I've been, I've been watching this and trying to see what the heck's going down here, but you can see that they actually had, uh, we know this now, but beforehand this was posted. Oh boy, Maria's mic'd up. And uh, Maria's hoping Joey doesn't choose either of them and proposes to her. No, someone said she's wearing a mic and that might mean that she's, you know, and they gave her a moment to talk, which is, you know, they, they, here's how it went down. They asked Maria, they said, look, we need your blessing, blah, blah, blah. We'll try to hook you up. Maybe they could have Maria in a future season. Although guys, I don't think so. You get one a year and usually they pick the momentum of who's from the previous season, not having paradise. It was a shocker. An absolute shocker. They did a great job. I was glad to have been spoiled, although I was bummed. I was bummed. I was like, oh, gosh, I can't believe this. You know, you know why? Because it makes my job a lot easier when I can earnestly root for someone. Not saying I'm not going to get there with Jen. I don't know much about her. So absolutely, by the way, it broke my monitor. Can you, can you guys see this thing? Can you guys see this monitor that I broke? Can you see this right here? Broken. Completely broken. I had to order a new one. Jeez. Oh, Dropped it again. It's okay. It's gone. Monitor's gone. It's a dead monitor. All right. Pray for the monitor, gods. Here's all that's left of it. I didn't throw it. I'm not throwing the monitor. It bro it fell. I was just showing people the mon. See, I think there was a piece missing. Oh, it's dead. That monitor is dead. Well, I already ordered a new one. I ordered a new monitor. I'm down to two, folks. I'm down to two monitors. We've only got two left here. Boy, I'm gonna break a wall or something. Luckily, I got this nice felt wall here. I'm I've got a padded room in here that's taking care of me. Um. Uh, tapping the source says, no, nah, Rachel's reaction when Daisy came out more like she was shocked it wasn't Maria. I think she was, I think the audience knew it was Jen. I think they knew it wasn't Maria. Um, Hayden said, what do you think about the plot twist? That's what we're getting into. Um, I don't know if Maria would do, um, let's let's see what else I can go. I'm going to go down if I missed anyone. RIP or monitor. Uh, In the arms of an angel, you'd fly away. The monitor's gone. Gone, gone. Uh, Nat Nadia said it's giving Clayton Eckerd when he became the bachelor out of nowhere. Well, Clayton was heavily spoiled as the bachelor. So this was just, um, well, crafty. I'm mad that I broke my monitor earlier today, but to be quite honest, the, the lighting wasn't that good on that monitor anyway. So my new monitor is, um, that I ordered is a, is going to be nice, but tomorrow, tomorrow, is tomorrow's my last day? No, tomorrow's Tuesday. So I'm going to have two days down a monitor. Let's see how I handle being down a monitor the next two days. Um, um, yes, they announced Jen as the Bachelorette for those that are just flying in. Uh, B. Bean said Maria just wants to be famous. I don't know if that's fair. I don't know if that's fair. Um, you know, famous is such a blanket term. Maybe, 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 maybe Maria wants a life that's, uh, you know, it, you know, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, would you say the same thing about me? I don't know. Some people just want it. They want more. They want more from life. And maybe, you know, she saw this as a ticket towards that, but, um, you know, saying she just wants fame. I don't know. I mean, maybe, um, all right, let's, I, I'm going to be searching for things, but if anyone has anything online that you want discussed, let me know. Um, again, we're going to be happy for Jen and all that. I'm just, I'm just, it's almost like, uh, it's almost like when a new balance cancels making their most profitable sneaker. You're like, what were they thinking? That was gold. That's all. Um, Sarah said, can they do two seasons of the bachelorette back to back? Like they did with Katie and Michelle. Um, I don't know. I don't think so. They have golden bachelorette, you know, so they've got, they've got, um, Oh, I lost my, hold on. I'm trying to find my, hold on one second, folks. My, uh, why is that over there? Oh, interesting. Oh, since one of my things went down, I'm, I'm missing a display. 
Just give me one second here. I'm trying to work through a few things. Now that I lost one of my uh, monitors, I'm kind of uh, footloose and flying around here. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know. I'm not going to lose any sleep tonight. I just, I just think it's super foolish, and it makes. I think you know, I think it would have been a little easier to have. Um, okay, here we go. All right, so I'm trying to see what some of the best comments are. Um, someone said, I'm just tired of these super young girls. I want someone closer to 30 who had exhausted all dating options. Jen is gorgeous and super young. She does not need a reality dating show to find love. Um, someone said, Lex yeah, I think Lexi would have been better too. Um, I don't know what they muted. They Probably the F word. Hey, Tammy, thank you so much. Yeah, Tammy, Kelsey's dad as Golden Bachelor would be amazing. Um, yeah, that moment, Barb, when we saw, when we saw Kelsey and Daisy in the limo together, the, the audience's visceral reaction was wild. Um, trying to see if there's any other posts going on here. Um, let's see, Bachelor, Mega Threads. Huh. Now some people are saying Jen is 26 years old. All right, let's see. How old is she? I thought they said Jen was 24. Um, did it do? I don't know. Um, let's go back to Twitter and see what they've got going on. Uh Sorry, guys, I'm doing 17 things at once. Um, Morgan said, why do you think they kept showing Rachel's reaction? I'm not sure. Rachel looked like she was, like, really confused. Jen said, how inappropriate was it for Daisy to hijack Kay? I don't know. I mean, I think they know each other better than we know them, so maybe it was reassuring. All right, let's go to some of your, some tweets. Sorry, but is this the same Daisy from a few minutes ago? Why is she giving fraternal twin here? Am I out of line? Yeah, you know, she got a nice spray tan and changed her hair. That's what they do. Hold on. Where do we go? How do we go back to The Bachelor? We lost all of our Bachelor. Uh, I had a nice Bachelor uh, playlist here. Let's go, Bachelor. I'm not going to take any phone calls because... Um, Boy, by, by the way, lots of thunder happening here in Nashville. I'm not going to do any phone calls tonight. Um, let's see what you guys have going on. Lots in the comment section. Keep on hitting the like button if you guys don't mind. Um, Gina said, maybe Maria is holding out for Chris Harrison's new show. I don't think so. Um, Joey, I wanted to make sure I only said I love you to one person. Clayton, I slept with both of you. Yeah. Boy, times have changed. Someone said, I'm sorry, I love Jen, but not having Maria as the Bachelorette is crazy. I think that's what it comes down to, is just an absolute shocker. Let's go to latest Bachelor. Um, by all means, we're not going to be a Jen hate page. Nope. No one, no one, uh, I can't speak for anybody else. Um. But, boy, do I just think they really, really mess it up. Uh, what else do we got here? Oh. Why isn't uh, Maria not the next Bachelorette? Big mistake. Shaking my head. Pardeep says, actually, totally pleased. The Bachelorette choice Jen is hot, says Pardeep. Um, former driving with Dave guest Pardeep. Melissa said, you think, you think Maria said no? I don't know. Let's go to Maria's page. I doubt she has anything up. I doubt we have anything from Maria. That's from the Women Tell All three days ago. So, nope. Let's see. Nothing from her. It all ends tonight. Who's ready? I just can't imagine she would have said no. 
I mean, Maria's 29. It's not like she's, uh, you know, th- like 18. She's even, even if she hasn't brought many guys home to dad, I don't think that's an indicator of whether or not someone can find their person. Um, Bachelor at Windmill said, will you be watching Jen's season? The way I gasped and said, who? Jen, drop out so Maria can be Bachelorette. No, I think, I, I think that's the wrong energy. Um, but I do think people, you know, I, I do think it's fair to say it's a fumble to not have Maria. Again, you know, if they said Lexi, I still would have said the same thing. Oh, I think Maria was the right choice. Um, but either way, um, we'll have to see. I just hope she's better than she was on the after the, I mean, on the after the final row, she bombed that question. I, I'm sure you guys don't li- hear it the way I do, but you know, I want a guy who's got a big, big personality audience crickets. Don't I have a cricket button? Yeah, let's do it here. I'm going to reenact. She goes, I want, what kind of man do you want? I want to find a man with a big, big personality. Hello? Wow. Um, do do do. Invu said Maria needs a Canadian man like OMG. How about this? I got one for you. How about Maria and Blake Moines? How about that? You want some of that? I mean, good God. Old Maria wants the old peck muscles of one Blakey boy. How does that sound? Ladies and gentlemen, the sexual stylings of Blake Moynes and Maria, the gorgeous Georges, Canada's finest coming to you next season of So You Think You Can Shower Together. And it's just them taking showers together. All right, why not? Okay, Layla said 26 years old now. All right, so you tell me, Jen. Okay, so 26 is better. Um, why did it say 24? Let's do this. Age. Who said 24? All right, trans. There's a 25 year old. So she was 25 as of March, and now she's supposed to be 26. Let's skip this ad here. Well, I trust Deadline. They say she's 25. I don't know when her birthday it is. I'm not going to do the math. But either way, congratulations to Jen. B-Bean says, Dave, I am hurt that you are making fun of Jen. B-Bean, first of all, no. I am not making fun of Jen. What are you talking about? I'm not making fun of Jen whatsoever. Let's nip that in the bud. In order for me to share my opinion, I have to do that. Not one thing did I say was making fun of Jen. I just have to say that because I'm not trying to make this some whole anti-Jen brigade. I'm disappointed it's not Maria, okay? Jen bombed. That's not even negotiable. She bombed the joke. That's it. That's not me making fun of her. Okay, let's move it on. Uh, Looney Corn says, Dave, bring Blake and Maria on Driving with Dave for an episode of Dating with Dave. Ooh, wouldn't that be nice? Hey, you guys getting frisky back there? And I'm just like looking at the rearview mirror. Um, uh, da, da, da. <laughs> yeah, and Maria's not going to do Canadian Bachelorette. That's just not going to happen. She's bigger than that. Um, the potential men. Reality Steve just pointed posted this. Boy, they're really... Uh, what is this on Facebook? Let's see if we can find this here. Uh, let's see, Facebook, and we search um, Bachelorette. Let's see, do we have a Bachelorette page here? We have the potential men. All right, I don't, let's go, let's go, to, let's go to Steve here. He posted it. Reality Steve just posted uh, a early look alert for Gen Season have been posted on the Bachelorette Facebook page. So we have a couple of the dudes here. All right, it's a bunch of white dudes. Um, let's, how do I go to the, ba- the, the bachelorette? So let's go to Facebook and go to the bachelorette. In fact, let me do this right here and then we'll get back to you guys. The bachelorette. Da da da. She was born November 24th, 1997. Uh, 107, 17. So why do they have her listed as 25. Um, (laughs) 
That's slutty. How funny. Tapping the source said, just because our hearts were with Maria doesn't mean our heads don't love Jen. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with Jen, really. That's the point, is that the, the Maria disappointment has nothing to do with Jen. It's just, uh, you know, it's going to take several several years to mourn the loss. All right, so uh, uh, here it is coming soon. Early look, we're giving you a sneak peek at the men who may be on this season of The Bachelorette. So how many? Oh, we have a lot here. Aaron, okay, here we are, folks. Let's do it. I'll, I'm probably going to have to do this again tomorrow. Hayden says, Dave, I have a question. Please ask away. Um, uh, do, 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 do. Um, all right, here we're doing one thumb in, two thumbs out. What's going on? All right, very nice. Austin from San Diego. Brendan from Vancouver. Uh, Brett, thick boy, nice and strong. Brett, I like it. From Pennsylvania. Uh, Brian from Florida. Um, Corbin from Los Angeles, 25. Who likes short shorts? There is a very saturated photo. Um, uh, Dakota from Arizona, 27. Uh, Devin from Texas. That's a grocery store. Um, no, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, Dylan from Elk Grove, California, 24. Dylan's young. Um, let's see here. We've got Grant from Houston, Texas, 30. And Hakeem from Schaumburg, Illinois, 29. Hassan from Denver, Colorado, 28. Jahan from New York, 28. Look at this outfit. Jeremy from Connecticut, 29. Boy, he looks like he's in his dad's, you know, hunting jacket. Uh, John from Delray Beach, 25. Jonathan from Mississippi, 24. Some of these photos are just like Jonathan from LA, 27. Like, we couldn't get a better photo? That's a good photo. See, this is like, what are you doing? You're taking photos of the owls? What, what's up there? You know, and then we've got Kevin, 35. See, that's, I mean, I'm sorry. In today's world, I think 35 is more of an appropriate age. Um, uh, Marcus, North Carolina, 31. Oh, he's top four. Marcus has Disney jawline. He's got Disney jawline. I'm, I'm saying it. Top four. Disney jawline. Lovely. All right. Ingrid said, where are the Asian men? Uh, Marvin, Santa Monica. There he is in front of the, um, the what's it called? The, jo jo the Jordan? I'm trying to think. What's the name of that hotel? Can't remember. The Jordan? No, that doesn't sound right. The, 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 what the hell is that name of that hotel? All right, hold on a second. I'm just reading some of your comments here. Do do do. Um. All right. Oh, it's raining outside. And look, I'm not saying I'm not I'm not I'm not, I'm certainly not implying that because she's Asian, she wants to date an Asian man. I'm not saying that at all. That's what's hard about the show. It's like there are so many diverse people out there that when you have to pick 30 guys, I mean, Matt from Atlanta, Georgia, 27. I love that mustache thing he's got going on. I bet that does. I bet that gets a lot of attention. That's like a old school, like circus ringleader mustache. I like it. Um, Moe's, is it Moe's or Mose? We'll go Moe's from Albany, New York. He's got like that young rock necklace on. No, that wasn't the Scientology building. That was the um, building on Ocean Ave. I'm trying to think. Not the Jordan. It's called the, um, ah, whatever. Um, do, do, do. No, I just put my fertilizer down today. You're supposed to put it down before it rains. Sam from Myrtle Beach, 26. All right, Sam's got a nice neckline there. Um, I don't know where Jen's from off the top of my head. Sam from Carlsbad. Jen, where is Jen from? Um, again, We'll, we'll, we'll wrap our head around, Jen. 
Spencer Thomas from Georgia. I'm I'm feeling like Thomas is a little too swole. I don't I don't say this as any sort of judgment, but whenever whenever men have the deltoid muscles that go out this wide, I kind of feel like it's synthetic. I'm not I'm just saying if it's take that as a compliment. If those muscles are real and not steroid induced, then congrats on the workout routine. You know what I mean? That's all I'm saying. Um Jahan said, is there a possibility Maria turned it down? I'd say 5% chance. Um, Thomas from Canada, and we're back to the beginning. All right, there you have it. Uh, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we got. Now, how, what? How, oh, we're over 500 people in the chat. That's nice. Um, again, people will vote with the rows on who they like. Wish it was Daisy, said some. Let's see what other comments are saying. Um, they're all way too young, says Megan. Um, Facebook comments are always the most brutal. They're usually just the most. Uh, by the way, if you're new to my channel, I will be doing a post-bachelor uh, stand-up show this Thursday in Scottsdale, Arizona, with a live Q&A with former Bachelor Clayton Eckerd. Again, if you're new to my channel, the VIP has sold out, but we've got general admission tickets, and you're going to get live stand-up comedy. I've got three of my comedian friends joining me, and then we've got a live Q&A. I think we might have Courtney Roberts in there and some other uh, notable Bachelor folks will be hanging out. Um, so... Thank you guys so much in advance if you want to come or know any friends in Scottsdale that do want to come. They're calling it a special event. And by the way, I don't know if I have the ticket link for this one, but I'm also in Nashville, Tennessee for a show called Love Bombing. And that will be a stand-up themed or a, re a relationship themed stand-up show April 14th. Nashville, Tennessee. I've got that ticket link in my link in, excuse me, in my link tree. Um, Tucker says, do you think that the music video might have given producers pause about Daisy? No, not the way they edited her. They edited her to look so good. My thought is if they wanted to keep her, they would have. So Steve has posted, uh, three men I was going to give you tomorrow that I'd heard were potential cast. So Austin is one. And then Kevin McDevitt, he's got a nice senior dog. How cute. Oh, we love a good senior puppy. And uh, this guy's going to go far. It's a good-looking dude. Oh, he, he caught a fish. Yeah, he's, I mean, he's a good-looking guy. Um, which one is he? Is he on the right? So he's tall. Yeah. All right, he can put a tuxedo on. He's from Laguna Beach. He's going to go very far. Uh, Hassan, Joseph, protect your mentals and protect your chicken. I don't know what that means, but sounds good to me. Um, so his account's private. Um, do, do, do. Uh, do, 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 do. Jay, can't, Jay King said she said no to the gig. Well, we don't know for sure. It, uh, we don't know for sure what happened. I will tell Clayton you said hi. Um, uh, Looney Corn said, how excited are you to connect with Clayton in real life again at your gig? Well, to be quite honest, I'll probably be so busy seeing audi like the audience that's coming out. So, um, yeah, it'll be good to see Clayton. I mean, you know, um, maybe, maybe, uh, maybe he can show me some good pizza places nearby. Um, what else do we have? What else do we have? Wow. I mean, what can you do? I'm not going to lose any sleep tonight. It's just, you know, my job is covering The Bachelor. And I just thought Maria was going to give us some iconic sayings, some moments, and all that jazz. Um, Bachelor Fantake says, Jesse tried to bait that Daisy Bachelorette announcement too hard. I knew the whole time it was going to be Maria, and of course, it wasn't. It wasn't. So just checking on all the messages.
we are getting right now. Um, do do do. What was my opinion about Kelsey A? Well, which which Kelsey is Kelsey A? Kelsey Anderson. I thought she was great. Um. Um. Da da da. I thought Kelsey is so cool. Let's see. Let's see if she's posted on her Instagram. Chances are they'll probably not post till tomorrow, uh, since they're at the live event. Um. Do do do. Um, let's see what she's got going on. Yeah, she hasn't posted anything. Uh, BachelorNation.scoop said, what are your thoughts of Jed? Someone said, ABC has no brain cells. Literally have no interest in watching. They had two amazing options with Daisy and Maria. Either one could have would have put their ratings off the charts. Maria was robbed. Was really rooting for Maria. Will... Still root for Jen. Just think Maria was a was a once in a generation reality star. Uh that's what I have to say about that. Um do 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 Daisy declined. I bet Maria did too. Still shocked it wasn't Rachel. I don't think Maria declined, guys. In fact, at the very end when they and at the very end when they um had Maria talk, I think she was supposed to have more time and they cut her off because they ran out of time. They kind of she kind of got the applause a little too early. Um uh yep. Uh I'm already worried for her. I wanted Maria as well, but hope the Bachelor Nation will be kind on her season. Uh I don't, yeah, I think people will be kind towards Jen. Jen seems, I mean, she seems very smart. She's in graduate school, right? You know, like, um, I think she'll do a lot better. I think Jen will do a lot better when the show's actually um, edited versus live. I think she was really nervous. Um, yeah, what was the announcement with the Golden Ladies? I was so confused about that. I, th- I kind of, I was like, did I miss them just announcing them as the Golden Bachelorettes? Uh, Travis said, thank you, Dave, for putting on these streams and content. Thank you for all the great community. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah, of course. Uh, yes, I said once in a generation. I think Maria is um, I think Maria is a star. And, I, and, and to be quite honest, I think I'm pretty good at it, too. I think I'm pretty good at picking. Not, not to say there aren't more than one right, right choices, but, like, no offense to Jen, but she didn't get much time on the season... So why is she going to get like, you know, you, you put 30 people together and it's not all about drama, but you put 30 people together. Some people get a better edit than others. Some people get more editing than others because they're more dynamic. They say more interesting things. Maybe they're banking on Jen just being like sort of like a stoic, beautiful lead versus, uh, versus more of a chaotic lead. Um, uh, no, I think I disagree. Um, I disagree on Maria being uh, inauthentic. I think she was so authentic. She was sick of having people mischaracterize and rewrite history. I'm the same way. If someone conflates what I said, I go out of my way to, to correct them because I know if you don't correct someone right away, they'll run with misinformation. SK said, how are you good at picking? You picked wrong. I'm saying, good point. I'm saying, I, I look, I, I've been, I've been in, I've, I've worked in, try not to sound like a douchebag. I've cast project. I've worked uh, in, in, as an actor for a long time. And, I think when I see someone who I think has it, I go, boom, that, you know? So that's why I think I'm so surprised because I'm going, it's not that I don't see it in Jen. It's got nothing, it's got nothing to do with Jen. It's that Maria is just 
light years. And I see it as a comedian. I see Maria and I go, man, she was so funny from the start. She would say things and vibe back and forth. She couldn't get enough stage time. She had more to give. Layla, yeah, as soon as Charity was making the announcement, I was, um, I think that was telling. Um, Maria going on Dancing with the Stars, that would be interesting. Yeah, that, that would be really interesting. I didn't think of that. Maria has some dance experience, right? Um, yeah, they did cut her off at the end. I did not see the Good Morning America fumble. I'm getting texts from people. Yeah, Sarah. I would have I would have chosen Rachel. Um the way Rachel handled her um Bachelor Happy Hour interview was amazing. Bachelor, let's see, Bachelor Happy Hour. Uh, Rachel was so good, so beautiful, so... Grab um, your tissues now. She was such a calming energy. And maybe that's why they don't want her. Um, but, uh, you know, I, when, when they when they interviewed Rachel, I was like, oh, Rachel. And by the way, someone called this recently. I'm going to have to find this. Someone called this on Reddit when Jen was scheduled to do press... Um, let's do this bachelor. Let me see if I can find this. The bachelor Jen, Jen was scheduled to do press and people were saying, Oh, this must mean uh, she's going to be the next bachelorette. And I was like, no way. Cause it was, it wasn't big press. It was like the local, um, I'm looking for it right now. Do do do. Maybe it was, um, bachelor nation. Hold on. We're trying to walk and chew gum at the same time. Um, see if we can find it here. Jen, what hurts? So this is, someone said this has potential bachelorette clues. So much about that goodbye. I think it was the fact that I didn't really get a goodbye that was hurtful. Um, I did tell him I was falling in love with him in, in Montreal, and it was just the fact that in previous relationships, I really shied away from opening up. I really just wanted to put everything on the line. I wanted to put my whole heart into the experience, and I really did that. And, you know, I'm so grateful that I was able to do that with him, and I think it really pushed me further and us further in our relationship. Of course, you know Joey's going to be here later tonight. And earlier you were saying you never felt like you got a proper goodbye. Do you feel like you still need to get closure tonight? Um. So people were saying the main, by the way, great work here by uh, this user. The main Bachelor Instagram account posted this. I, and this was a week ago. I noticed the jewelry Jen is wearing was 100% chosen by Carrie. There is a. Uh, I think it's Corey, but they said Carrie. Is it Carrie? There's no way this type of jewelry fits Jen's personal personal style. Jen was clearly styled by Carrie for the Women Tell All, which just further confirms that she is in talk sign a contract for the lead role. Wow. Called it. All right. Yeah, Rachel would have been good. Uh, tapping the source said, it's funny that the straight guy called Jen being the lead pick a month ago. Um, it's Corey, right? They said Carrie, but I think they mean Cor Corey. I don't know. Um, Jen for Bachelorette. So, you know, people have, people have um, wanted her, you know? I'd have to, it's almost like, being so into wanting Maria as the bachelorette, I'll have to look at what the show might have seen that we didn't. Like when it came to Clayton, the show wanted, um, you know, someone that was likable, but like someone that they could kind of like tell what to do. I'm not saying they're going to get that with Jen, um, but they clearly have their reason. So... 
let's just check out social media accounts. Not that it means much. Um, congrats to Kelsey. Justice for Maria and give him hell, Jen. Gabby said justice for Maria. Were they in the audience? We were saying how Daisy crushed. Congrats to Kelsey. Justice for Maria. And give him hell, Jen. Oh, people are upset that the West Coast. I'm sorry if you live on the West Coast. It's your fault if you go on Instagram. We live on East Coast time. Joey turned full on turtle when Daisy said she's leaving. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my gosh. Jenny Kelsey. Thank you, Nicole. The chat is on fire. Hit the like button, 587. I don't know how long we're going to go. It really depends on if you guys stick around. I have to say, I think a lot of... I think we have a relatively low audience count which is fine but i think it's because you know it was a happy season the girl in the audience is me in the moment so there's the girl in the audience love the sisterhood and support of kelsey and daisy iconic they rode in the van together daisy's exit is going down in the top three franchise moments of all time yeah daisy's exit was really cool uh, Daisy telling Kelsey her mom is looking down on her after she just had her heartbroken girlhood in, it, in its purest form. Daisy being beautiful and amazing doesn't take away from me being beautiful and amazing. People sometimes think this is a competition, but it's not. Cool stuff, folks. All right, me reading that just got us a down vote. So clearly someone's lightheaded. You try to hit the like button and you accidentally hit the down button. Um, do do do. Yeah, that's how it works on the West Coast. I lived on the West Coast. I had stupid people. I mean, it's one thing to be scrolling Instagram. I I, I had people that would like, um, uh, you know, I had I had people that would text me spoilers. It's like, what I do? I have to have? I can't even have my phone on me at all. Nicole said Jen was on set before last season. What does that mean? Looney Corn said, down votes are so funny on live streams. Yeah, the only way to overcome a down vote is with one super chat. One super chat if you will will negate a down vote. That's how it works. Um, I mean, look, I don't know what you guys want me to say here. There isn't too much. Um, what can I say about Jen? Oh, we were going to go to her Instagram. All right, so let's go to Jen's Instagram and see how she's doing numbers-wise. I guess she's going to, she'll be at 100,000 by the end of the night. That's for sure. So here she is. Um, um, ba, ba, ba. Absolutely sick to my stomach thinking about how sea otters have a favorite rock. What? Okay. I like her more. She has a, she has sea otters facts. So that's good. Um, here she is on top of a piano. I'm not a fan of marble floors like that. They look so cold. You know what I mean? Uh, my mom made me play piano for 12 years for this exact moment. All right, so she plays piano. Oh, we knew that. We knew she played piano. Um, all right, hey. Okay, I think she's a good pick. I mean, I don't. I, I still think Maria would have been a better pick, but by all means, if you if you did take Maria out of the equation, um, where is she where she's got this nice floor? Nice, nice marble floor there. I don't know where this is. All right, here she is. All right, so here she is with the other ladies. Um, what night was this? This uh, must have been like uh, several weeks ago. Um, 
my life as a PA student on The Bachelor. I'm currently in my general surgery rotation and I get to the office around 8.30. We round on some patients. We had some follow-ups and then we did a new perianal abscess consult and a small bowel obstruction in the ER. Then we wrote up all our notes. By the way, Looney Corn said $5 down with the down votes. Thank you, Looney Corn. And Thank you. To a very overpriced lunch in the hospital. And after that, the med student and I studied a little bit. It's been so nice having another person on my rotation with Oh, I me. can't play this. I just realized the music. Um, sorry. You got... Hopefully that we didn't get a content issue there with that music. Let's see what else she's got here. We're all dating the same guys. So we have Jess, Jen. There they are. Okay, very nice. Kelsey, Jen, Jess, Kelsey, uh, Medina. I'm going to start getting the names wrong. Now we're going through the list. All right, there it is, folks. Um, let's see what else we got for Jen. Where is this? They're at some hotel. Um, there's Rachel, of course. That's nice. It's like the McDonald's colors, right? Yeah, the, the golden arch. Thing. All right, there it is. Um, there's one with Maria. Let's see what else we have here in the comments. Julie with a $5 super chat. Negate the down vote. So we have down with the down vote. And negate the down vote. Thank you guys all so, so much. I appreciate that. Um, Pammy said, why do they show off their hoochies on Instagram? Yeah, Gen X, you don't get it. In Gen Z, you're supposed to share, show off your hoochie. That's what happened. I don't even know. What, what does hoochie mean? Is that a front term or a back term? I don't even know. Going to the OR today. Four surgeries. All right, get ready with me. So there she is doing her contouring. You got to contour. Should I contour for Jen season? Really classy. Look at the foam. But and I, by the way, she's from Jersey. I love Jersey girls. I got, I'll give Jen that. I love a Jersey girl. Um, so I love the Ama coffee. Just came out of my espresso machine like that. I'm running late today. A hoochie coochie is a hoochie a coochie or is that a different uh, or is it a, like a so here's the uh, actual, they don't show enough of the scenery of the pool. Like, that is such a beautiful pool there. I'm getting so many comments from people. Um, uh, Daisy passed Marie on Instagram followers again tonight. Seriously? Daisy's back over Jen? Uh, oh, Stir Crazy has a $13.59 super chat. Thank you. For all the countless hours of content, I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much. Uh, we're trying to fall in love with uh, Jen here. Jen, I mean, Jen's a catch by all means. I just, you know, I, I, I hope, I hope Jen can appreciate how hard it is to get a laugh because she bombed. I want a guy with a big personality. Oh, hold on. I want a guy with a big, big... Hold on. Where do my crickets go? I lost my crickets. I want a guy with a big personality. Well, so I don't know if you guys know this, but I will be recording the Bachelor Rush Hour podcast after this. And I'm going to be giving all of my thoughts. Just in case you are wondering what I talk about on Bachelor Rush Hour, it's completely different from the YouTube channel. I'm just letting you guys know. Here is a section. I'm going to share this all in 20 seconds. I'm going to be sharing updates on Ruby Frank. I'm going to share updates on Kate Winslet's famous Titanic door was sold. Uh, Bob Barker, historic estate, 50 years up for sale. Price is right, 2.9 million. Bob Barker also had wild donkeys on 460 acres in Los Angeles. The P. Diddy Love Air private jet tracked down. I'm going to share all of the stories of P. Diddy getting his houses raided. Cat Williams has a comment. Uh, Oshani uh, denies making sports bets. Maria's mic'd up. I've also got this story about how the invention of I'm just joshing you started. I've also got, oh, we don't need that one. I've also got Will Farrell telling dumb dad jokes. Folks, and um, and I've got more. So that's all coming to you guys tomorrow on Bachelor Rush Hour podcast. Welcome to the Rush Hour. So if you don't know anything about Bachelor Rush Hour, it is my pet project turned actual bread and butter. It's the Rush. 
Welcome to the Rush Hour. So if you haven't yet tried to download the Bachelor Rush Hour, I'm telling you right now, we do 25 minutes in the morning and 25 minutes in the afternoon, and it's cool. It's different. I'm sure some audience members could put in a good word. Um, um, yeah, I got lots of tabs open. P. Diddy on the run. Um, <clears throat> Stir Crazy said, my first ever super chat. You did it right. Thank you so much. Uh, Carlene said, I totally cringed at that joke, too. Dead on arrival. Listen, I've bombed enough jokes to let you know. I know when one doesn't hit, and that one stunk. Um, yeah. Uh, <sighs> Looneycorn said, you could have driven a train through that joke. Honestly, yeah, it was such a bad joke. Um, Maria is 554K, Daisy 557. I mean, yeah, that's, you know, that's, that's a good amount. It's a good amount. Anyway, thank you for all the super chats. Um, Teresa said, I think his sons got arrested. Damiana said, I swear I thought of Dave when she bombed that joke. Bless her heart. It was so bad. I, I, wa I looked, I was watching that and my, my wife, she barely watches any of like the bachelor content. She'll like, like half watch. I, I looked at her after that joke bombed and she goes, she was like, cause she knew I was going to be like, Oh my gosh, that was so bad. And I know, I know some people are saying, Dave, you're making a much bigger deal out of it. I'm sorry. It <laughs> to, I just love comedy because for her to come out on stage and, and, I'm sure they told her to say it, but it's one thing to bomb with no audience, but to bomb with an audience, it's like, oh my gosh, I can't quite tell you how horrifying that is. Uh, let's see. Make sure to check if you are subscribed to the channel, said Layla. Um, I must have missed an earlier comment. Podcast is great, said Whitley. Perfect way to pass the time on the way to and from work. Oh, what a nice comment. Thank you so much for that. That's a perfect endorsement by Whitley. Whitley Lovelace. What a name. Uh, la, la, da. B. Bean said, was Jen's joke original? No, not at all. I mean, that's like the, that's like the most old school hack. I want a guy with a big personality. Okay, sure. Um, I get it. You know, I don't know. Runner X said, I didn't even know it was supposed to be a joke. Oh, yeah. Looneycorn says, I listen to the Rush Hour every morning while doing my dog's morning breakfast and potty routine. Perfect timing. Um, Damiana said, I swear. Okay, oh, we already went back. Tapping the source said, in any other season, Jen would be a fantastic pick. But when Maria was in the limo with Joey in Montreal, should have sealed her as Bachelorette. I think her being Canadian might be an issue. Well, Caitlin Bristow is Canadian. Julie says, no, no, you are correct, Dave. It was the worst joke I've heard in forever. It made me secondhand embarrassed. Yeah, Julie, the term secondhand embarrassment is overused, but this is a correct definition of the term. I literally was like, it hurt me vicariously. Do you know what I mean? But either way, what can you do? Now, I have to tell you guys, um, I wanted to share some big news with you. I, I'm sure it's dipped a little bit, but because we were featured on Caitlin Bristow's podcast, we have received a surge in new audience, but that was last week and every week is different. So last week we got up to ranking 108 on Apple Podcasts, Society and Culture. The fact that we're even in the top 200 is amazing, but what you see here is it actually dropped by 40 points. This drop happens when we don't get as many new subscribers this week as we did last week. So if you have an iPhone and everyone who has an iPhone can download for free, just type in Bachelor Rush Hour. I'm gonna show you. It's just, if you don't listen to podcasts, Here's my podcast app. This is where it is. See that right there? See that podcast app? There, that's where it is, okay? You just click on it, and then you just search 
You know what you can even do is you can just search my name. If you search my name, it'll come up right there. You can see it right there. It'll come up and you can click on every single episode that I'm on. And we do twice a day. All right, that's going to be it for my sales pitch. But I'm just telling you, you know, I got to uh, I got to I got to feed the beast here. And we're really trying to grow. It was incredible that we were able to get into the top 100, 108. Uh, but we're just going to fall back down unless people keep on subscribing. Um, let me see what you guys are saying in the comment section. Uh, let's get those followers. I'm going to be... So, uh, Hayden said, I have no money for a super chat. That's okay. No, no, no pressure. But want you to know all of the bachelors are amazing and worth our time. Thanks for sharing the inside thoughts about the season. Dave, thanks, Dave, for the live stream. Uh, Sarah Helville said, I listen to the rush hour every morning after I wake up and sometimes I mute my meetings to listen. Such a great show. Well, thank you for muting the meetings. Um, all right. So what can I say? I've got to record tomorrow morning's episode next. So I'm going to let you guys go, but I do want to thank everybody for a great season. It was inspiring in a lot of ways. It it's bringing back it's bringing a new era of the bachelor that is more focused on love um and gj says caitlin and dave need to co-host a podcast on a regular basis great report double charisma well gj all i can say is keep telling her that keep telling off the vine that um i let their producer know hey i'm in town you got a day where you need a guest. I'll come and talk about anything with Caitlin Bristow. Um, Kimberly says, when are you going to have another driving with Dave? I do them every Saturday. Uh, they're not all bachelor contestants, but I find interesting people and I interview them every Saturday. So if you haven't seen, go check that out. I, I air the audio on the podcast, Bachelor Rush Hour. Welcome to the Rush Hour. And then I have the video on the Dave Neal Show. Um, I understand my non-bachelor, uh, episodes don't get nearly as many views. I understand that. I'm resentful of that, but Hey, that's the beast. Um, thank you, Bruce, for sharing that. I know it's not people's faults. Oh, thank you, Damiana. Yes. Anyone who's in the Patreon knows how extremely stressed I've been this week. Um, all good things. My goal is to uh, get to bed around midnight tonight. So that means I have to let y'all go. And we'll be back tomorrow. I'm going to have a lot of content tomorrow. We're going to discuss the new Bachelorette. We're going to have our standard recap and all that. Um, Tapping the source said, after two years of watching on YouTube, I'm finally subscribed to your channel. Drive to the top 100. Ju just so you want, and I appreciate that. This is for podcasting I'm talking about. Now, I, I'm so itchy. My skin is so dry. Podcasting is audio-based, so that's on your phone. Uh, but I do appreciate you downloading. Um, no, I am not. My um, The wallpaper is halfway done. We Tomorrow, I've got another Driving with Dave episode. I have to go get. I'm interviewing a very funny comedian about her creative life. And... Then Wednesday, I'm flying to Arizona. I'm meeting up with Bruce. We're going to go uh, get some Diet Cokes and maybe some steaks. And um, yeah, so that's what we got. Appreciate everybody. Again, trust me. I know, I know. I used to, I used to do much longer live streams. It's not that I'm not cool anymore. It's just... We've got more work that needs to be done. So tonight I record the podcast that you get first thing in the morning. To be fair, it'll actually be up in a couple hours if you wanted to listen to it then. Um, but yeah, we'll have a lot going on tomorrow. Sarah, Bruce, all the other mods, thank you guys so much for keeping the vibes pretty cool. Tapping the source says, I subscribe to the podcast. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate everybody. Um, good night, everybody. I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to put on my, when I'm, you guys know on the Patreon, when I'm recording the podcast, I put on my good headphones. Um, I have one microphone. Um, I have one monitor that we lost tonight. 
Rest in peace to the mo- to the monitor that's gone forever. Um, Nicole Larson with a five dollar super chat. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I've already ordered the new monitor. Um, it'll be arriving. Let's see if I can find it in my Amazon. I I got a new monitor. Let's, let me see if I can find it. Orders. It's already showing up. So here it is. Let's see. I don't want to show you the order details, but this uh, this monitor is arriving on um, Friday. So this will come Friday and I get back Friday night. It's a curved monitor. This this will replace the monitor that I accidentally dropped. It's a nice, I mean, isn't that a beautiful monitor? So I'll have two of these, which really will help me. You know, I'm not, I'm not one for flat monitors. I like a nice curvy monitor. Really helps get all that content in. Um, but anyhow, folks. Thanks again. I'm gonna be go. I'm gonna go give my A game to the podcast right now. I think I might make a nice little T because my voice is starting to go harsh. And I'll uh, I'll see you guys all tomorrow. We're gonna have a busy day tomorrow. By the way, I've been informed there might be some wild T coming out tomorrow. I can't know for sure, but I've been informed that. I know it's gonna be on the Patreon. Um, I'm not I'm not jerking your chain, folks. I get text messages that say, buckle up. And that's what we try to do. Have a good night, everybody. Talk to you guys tomorrow.